Hey guys, what's up? Tobaloko here, and today we are back yet again with the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa Legendary Runs. Today we're doing Belize because it was the first suggested nation, and I was like, you know what, I fancy doing Belize. You know, they they haven't really been represented that much on this channel. I don't think I've ever played them. I don't think I've ever played as them, obviously. So yeah, let's just be Belize and see how well we do with Belize. So we're just going to advance the groups then. So we are in a group with England, Switzerland and Sweden. Great. <laughs> I think it's just game over. I, I honestly, early prediction, definitely a group stage finish. The first match of the group stage is the biggest one. It's against England. What a great match to start off with. A, a match where I can barely get any form and it's going to ruin the whole group stage. I reckon it's going to, but we'll give it a good go like we always do. Crosses it in for Rooney. I missed the header. We got another crossing opportunity. Headed away. Very well done, Belize. Over the top. That was a decent ball. That was a really decent ball. Come on. Serrano. Serrano, he scores! And he stunned England. It's 1-0 from that over-the-top ball. And in the 16th minute, Belize take the lead. What an incredible over-the-top ball it was. It didn't show it on the replay, but you probably saw it if you were paying attention. And yeah, we got 1-0 up. It was a great finish. I feel like Belize already have got a good passing. They've got a good movement on the ball as well. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Have a shot. Oh, that was close. We we're holding off the, the right back of England, Glenn Johnson, with that winger. Very promising so far. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. Belize are leading England 1-0 at half-time. A team with no form, a team that's only rated half a star, are surprising one of the favourites of the group. I feel like Belize are getting tired now. England are piling on a lot of pressure in this match. Skips the tackle. That was a really good move. And now Serrano's thrown goal. England don't know what to do. They can't get back. Oh, for God's sake. Almost had him there. Crossed in. And headed again. Oh, that was close. I thought Rooney was going to header it first. And then they went wide with one of the midfielders. Oh, no. Defence exposed. And now Rooney's going through. We need to stop him. And he just scores. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. It was just too quick. And Rain Rooney scores in the 69th minute to make it 1-1. Oh, just... I uh, don't know why Belize pushed so far forward. That wasn't a good idea. Jermaine Defoe's coming on. In the past few days, if you've been following this, um, I guess, big series of mine, um, you've seen that Jermaine Defoe has scored quite a few goals against me. Finesse shot. No, it didn't work. And I think we're going to come away with a draw here. And, um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, all my players are out of stamina. This sucks, dude. Oh, oh, my God, Rooney just missed a sitter. He missed an absolute sitter. I was there for the taking. I was right there. Like, like Belize were right there. And they come away with a draw against the biggest team in the group. Now, this is promising. Although that Belize sort of um, ran out of stamina, it was brilliant performance, especially at the start. We were pretty much all over England. We tired out and then they started pressing us. They scored and then we held on for that precious 1-1 draw. The second match of the group stage is against Sweden. And after our performance against England, I feel that we could get lucky in this one. Maybe we can. Um, we just need to make things happen at the start of the match. Not the end of the match because we'll still be tired unless my players get better form, better stamina. Or something like that. Oh my god, just tackle him. Oh, that's just... Oh my god, they missed the sitter again. Like, that's two teams. England and Sweden missing obvious goal-scoring opportunities. We might be able to get through with three draws. You never know. McCauley. McCauley has a shot and he scores. Okay, early on, yet again, McCauley scores. And he makes it 1-0 to Belize in the ninth minute. So this team is good at scoring early goals. Like... I thought I was going to get tackled here. He came over to me and I was like, just have a shot. Just went into the back uh, left-hand corner. One cross to Ibra and, oh my God, get in front of it. Oh, just couldn't get in front of it. The deflections were wicked and Berg just heads it in and makes it 1-1. That's the problem. That's the problem we face with some of these um, smaller rated goalkeepers is that 
they tend to push out a hell of a lot of shots. I mean, that shot was, like, really good by Ibra. Really, really good. So, uh, like, yeah, kudos for him to saving that shot. But it's just the fact that it bounced straight to Berg and it just went straight in. Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic scores. Oh my god, what was that keeping all about? Ibrahimovic showing his dominance. Um, just a really powerful striker, like I just said earlier. I mean, the ball came into the box, defender wasn't looking at him, tried to go for him, and he just taps it in. I mean, it was to be expected, but how is Sweden performing better than England? I don't understand. I would have thought England would be would have been the ones to absolutely dominate me. We are so exposed at the back at the moment. Like our defence are all over the place. Just need to get our shape back. That was a really bad tackle. Is that going to be a red? Okay, yellow. Berg going for on goal. Can we catch him up? We're already seeming to be very tired in this one. But we're holding on. Oh, well, at the moment, oh, that was close. Like our defence are just falling apart a little bit. We need to regroup at half time and get our heads together. They got it back. Great save. Are they going to get the header though? They have and a good save yet again. The goalkeeper was slow to get back up. You know what these one-star keepers are like. Oh, Berg's going through. Our defence got split by that ball, but thankfully the keeper was there to rescue us. If we're going to lose this game, don't lose it by a huge margin. Like, if we're going to go out in the group stage, please don't concede too many goals, Belize. We did really well against England. Don't throw it away by losing like massively against Sweden. This might be another yellow. It is. Berg's just been sent off for no reason. Like you just don't need to do that. They're gonna go for the early cross. Oh no, maybe not. They just working their way nicely into the box. Good play by Belize to get rid of that. Good tackle. The guy's through. Oh, oh I just couldn't get the angle on the shot. That was such a good save. Oh come on, get in front of them. Don't let him score another goal. I don't want the goal difference to be that huge. Oh, they just did. They just did. That's just frustrating. And Kim Kellstrom scores in the 90th minute. And that makes it 3-1 to Sweden. And definitely game over. I felt like I didn't deserve to, to um, concede that last goal. I really didn't. That was really unfortunate to lose like that 3-1. I, I, like I said, it shouldn't have been 3-1. It should have been 2-1. What I said about Belize at the start of the gameplay is ringing true. That they tire out towards the end of the game and it allows teams to put a lot of pressure on you. At the start, they are fine. They are a good team at the start of the game because I was able to score so quickly. And hopefully we can do that against Switzerland. I don't think we're out yet, although we are on the fringe of going out. So we are rooted to the bottom of the group with one point. If we get a win though, we'll have four. And um, we got to play Switzerland, whereas England and Sweden have got to play each other. So one of those teams are either going to, well, they hopefully will beat each other, one of them. I hope England will win that one. And then maybe we can just leapfrog Switzerland and Sweden to claim that second place. It's wishful thinking, but we have to beat Switzerland here. I don't think we will. They're quite a tough team to play against on this game. But, you know, you never know. I might be able to turn this... Bad run of form around. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, why did the keeper have to save that? That was such a good ball into the box. And I thought I genuinely scored. Look, it came into the box here. And I did a finesse. And, oh, that was going that was going in the back of the net. 100%. Trouble is with Belize. They seem to have no defence when they push forward. And Paladino just basically just went through me and just tapped it in. Well, not tapped it in. He smashed it in. And this basically spells game over. The run is basically over unless I can turn it around. Oh, tackle. Is that a penalty? It is. We got a penalty against Switzerland. Okay. Well, is that going to be like any yellow or red cards or anything? I skipped the cutscene, so I actually won't know. Oh, Switzerland are making a sub, so it might be because, it, because usually managers make substitutions when they get a red card. They never make substitutions this early on in the game and we have a chance to bring it to 1-1. One, one. Oh, he went the right way, but we score the penalty. McCauley makes it 1-1 one, one, and we have hope. We have hope. Our second goal of the campaign, almost saved by the Swiss keeper. <laughs> Switzerland need to be careful. I feel like they're giving me an opportunity to go through. I feel like they are trying to give me an opportunity. 
to go through. Oh, that was a fantastic save. I feel like Belize are now trying to get back into this game. They're showing a little bit of fight. Get in front of the ball. That was so lucky that that didn't go in. Because that was so powerful. My goalkeeper's just standing still for some of these shots. It just makes me so worried. Crossed in. This might be a good opportunity. Oh, you could have just headed it. You were literally right there. Oh, that was a poor shot, but at least it was a shot. Oh, just stop sliding me out, Switzerland. Just constantly sliding me now. Just trying to prevent me from trying to score. Obviously, they would, but such a dirty tactic. Like, please, stop. Okay, that's a penalty. It is. It is a penalty. One of the softest penalties I've ever seen given on this game. Literally, he tackled me properly, and my man went down, and it's now a chance to score. Come on, McCauley. Come on. Come on, McCauley. Come on. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's just too far ahead of him. It was way too far ahead of him. And it looks like we're going to crash out in this World Cup. Belize are celebrating because it's another draw on the cards, which would be their best performance ever at a World Cup. And it's just a shame that Belize have to go out like this. I mean, the through ball there didn't even go to the man it was supposed to go to. So I don't know what was wrong with the passing. We didn't really turn up in this one. We did and we didn't. Like, okay, in the first game, we scored early and then England equalised and we kept them at a 1-1. The Sweden game, potentially we could have, like, drawn that one. Like, we could have done to make it a bit more competitive, the group. I mean, the group was competitive in the end. What? I came last in the group. I came last in that group, guys. I came last. I came last. Like, you saw it on the side. I came last. And they just let me in. Alright. Like I say, if any glitches happen, of course I'm not going to end the run. I'm going to keep trying to win the World Cup. And that was a miracle. An absolute miracle. I finished last in that group. And still, I went through. So someone, either Switzerland or England, got screwed over in this one. Who was it? It was Switzerland. Switzerland got screwed over. Okay. And we got Ben in as our round of 16 match. Of course, we still might go out in this one. But at least we've got an extra match and we can enjoy um, the extra match. Just imagine the possibility that Belize somehow win this tournament. Somehow win this tournament when finishing last in the group. Finishing last in the group. That would be incredible. Thank you for the glitch for working in my favour. It hasn't happened against me for quite a while, actually. Okay, Setignon's going through. He just somehow found his way through. This is a big problem with Belize. They just, um, they let people go through, like, quite easily. Of course they will. They are a half-star team, but... Uh, you'd think that with me in control, that I'd be able to deal with it. And um, Stefan Sessignon scores, the one that used to play for like West Brom. Is it Stephanie Sessignon or Stefan Sessignon? I can't remember. But he was an alright player, to be fair. Serrano. Oh, good save. Go on, hit that. Yes, it's 1-1. Another goal to add to McCauley's tally. And he makes it 1-1. Usually, we are the team to score first. But I guess it's still early on in the match. Like, 36th minute isn't that late. And there was a good deflection that took it out to McCauley. And he taps it in to make it 1-1. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Okay. Like, uh, well, they just, again, Sessegnon scores. Because the ball bounced out, out here. He passes it in. I went to try and close him down. And he's already made the shot by the time I closed him down. 2-1. Crossed in again, and they go for the header. Can we just head that out? No, we can't. Headering with this side is non-existent. Good pass, and that was a great goal. 3-2, have we got a comeback on our hands now? It's trapped with the goal in the 49th minute. Those sort of free kicks are easy to score on this game, because if you can just do it really quickly, and then just wait for that guy to go into the middle of the box... You pretty much have yourself a goal about 95% of the time. Look at me talking like I know what I'm doing. Could I have another chance if this guy wants to go through. He kind of is. Go on, go on, go on. Yes, 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 yes. It's 3-3. And Serrano scores in the 88th minute. I didn't even expect him to score that one. It was such an unexpected event. 
And it's 3-3. What a comeback by Bellies. Oh, that was about to deflect into my path. You could have let me have that, ref. You could have let me have that. We are going to extra time in this tournament. Belize shouldn't have been here, but they are here. And they're making waves in this match. It, they were 3-1 down. And now it's 3-3. Because Bocco... What the hell? Did you see that? He almost scored like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I mean, you've got to be kidding me with this, right? I mean, this game is just trying its best to screw me over. Look at that. If that went in, that would have been crazy. Over the top. Come on. Oh, we got it. Linares. Go on. You've got no stamina, but it's okay. You're still kind of running. Go for the shot. Oh, my God. That went in. That went in. And it's 4-3. It's 4-3. Comeback of the century from Belize. 3-1 down on legendary difficulty to make it 4-3. This goes out of stamina, but still finds the stamina to rifle home a bullet against... Benin. That's good. That was a great ball. Go for the shot. Go for it. Go. Oh my god. I thought that was going to be a long shot. The way that it was set up and everything and the animation the keeper was getting in. I thought it was going to be a long shot. It looked like, well, it, looked like it was going to go to the top left corner. And that's it. Benin have gone out. They were 3-1 up. Absolutely dominating me. And Belize had the belief to fight back, win this game. Absolutely incredible scenes from Belize and they march on into the quarterfinal where I'm not sure who we face but it might be the final stop for us. Who we got next then? Come on. Who have we got next? Brazil. Great. <laughs> Brazil. One of the best teams in the game. You just know they're just going to absolutely feast on my terrible defence. But who have we got in the last stages then so we got Belize versus Brazil and Denmark versus Turkey but it leaves a quarter final well, semi-final matchup sorry between Greece and Chile so I would have loved to be in that bracket because that was a, that's a great opportunity to win the World Cup the biggest match of these players lives from Belize it's against Brazil this is where, well, I, I'd say definitely we go out. But we defied expectation, but only because of the glitch happened. I mean, we can put Belize quarterfinal, but put a little asterisk there, just saying like, oh, the glitch happened. I mean, I was thankful for the glitch, obviously, but I mean, if it was true to, if it was true to form, like obviously I would have finished last in the group and the run would have been over by now. It would have been a very short video, but now we just had that incredible comeback against uh, Benin, and now we just got to go against Brazil for a chance to go into the semi-final and a chance to go to the final as well, where either Turkey, uh, uh, sorry, Greece or Chile are in the final waiting for us. Although, they just scored immediately. <laughs> so immediately, and Alano scored in the fourth minute. Great play by Brazil, using my weakness to their advantage, and that's obviously headering the ball. They just couldn't do it. Like, Belize just can't header it. And against one of the best teams in the world, we're going to struggle. And we're going to struggle so hard to even get anything out of this. That was a really bad play, and it makes it 2-0. Really poor... Um, I guess clearance, if you can call it that. Through ball here. Come on, Serrano. Can we get a goal back to try and mount a comeback? Oh, the keeper saved it. I turned at the last minute to try and fool him. But Julio Sosa is too good of a keeper to get fooled by that. They go for the shot. That was an incredible save by the goalkeeper. Very athletic indeed. But it just looks like we're not really going to get into this game. I've tried so hard to get through on goal and everything. And it just won't happen. Oh, that's a free kick on the edge of the box. And it's going to be a red card. That's really harsh. That is a ridiculously harsh decision from the referee for Brazil. That that wasn't... I know it was last man. Well, actually, no, it wasn't really last man. All he did was just make me sort of kind of trip over myself. Okay. That was really harsh. And there we go. Belize finally exit the World Cup after... Well, they're supposed to be exiting the World Cup in the group stage, but we go out in the quarterfinal. Brazil beat Greece in the final 2-1, and uh, we don't know what happened in the third place playoff because it doesn't tell you. Thanks for that game. 
I really feel that if I didn't run into Brazil and I had a better team than Belize, I probably would have won that World Cup because I've beaten Greece in the past quite a few times and um, they're not really like a super OP team to go against on Legendary. I mean, that was a really good shot to go for the World Cup, but unfortunately, we were Belize. But at least we got to the quarterfinals and that's all that matters really. I know we, we essentially got glitched into the quarterfinal, but still a good video nonetheless. And I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.